Donkey Kong 64 is filmed in front of a live, very silent studio audience. Here on the cell count playing Donkey Kong 64 and, uh, I mean, I super cleared this place yesterday. All that's left is to find a boss and open up the door to the boss and fight it. I don't know what to expect afterwards because I don't know what kind of time commitment this is going to be. Like, I just, I just flat out do not know. I don't really know what to expect. I don't even really remember where a door is. I think there is one if I stick to here though, right? Like there's a door that was open right here. Yeah. Next to Snide, whom I've never visited. Watch Duker's recent upload to find out about all the animations about opening up things. He used my save. Pretty wild. Uh, so, we're gonna sit through this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip through this. Fantastic. Can't believe I saw a hundred purple bananas getting eaten live. This is something that's happening in a video game right now. That's Larry's, Larry's world. That pink just oink. That's right, hippo, eat all these blood red bananas. Become the vampire hippo. Oh, and with Donkey Kong being the last banana donator, he gets to keep half his take. And Chunky's the lucky guy who gets to keep them all. He's just gonna like check it out. I got all these green bananas. I don't know with whom to share them all. And that's a great problem to have. Uh, everyone has had their boss moment, whether it was, you know, it made sense for them to have one or not. Everyone had theirs. Uh, Alright, so it's DK time for his revenge fight. I mean, it makes sense. He's a leader of the bunch, you know him well, so he's a leader. He has more fights. I don't know what's gonna happen in the castle world though, but... We got a laughing voice. Oh, a machine ain't working good. We're about to press some boppers. Uh, BBD button. We got ourselves a big old Silander. Okay, I see. They're building the boss in front of us. Oh! It's that guy! But now a cyborg. A cyborg Dello. He's got middle back legs. Huh. So after refighting Dragon Coins, here we get to refight Armadillo. Got it. He's still a fool, just kind of sniffing around. And then he's got electrical powers! Wow, his Cyber Enhancement frying him up! That's a pretty rad enhancement, I'm just going to run and then you just kind of give up. Oh man, what am I going to do? Uh-oh, it's shrunk to, and now it's that thing. Oh, it's a rocket boost. Got it. Whoa. Nautilus Blast. All right, here we go. Okay, well, I dodged that. Oh, so you don't use that to play around? You use that to make one ripple? Okay, you might do multiple ripples. Okay, there we go. Now it's firing range. Stop blowing up my TNT. I'm running, little figure. Ace, because I want to be close to the TNT in case it matters. Like, I don't know how generous he is with his look around and scoop around. And, you know, action. Uh-oh. He's rolling again, and the world is waving. It's super cool, the world wave. Uh, I'm a little saddened that the game doesn't use that more, like, in terms of, like, creating some kind of effect to interact with, the this is gonna do a big pound, though. Like, that is rad. That is super rad. I love it. It's not very hard to deal with, but I love it anyway. Alright, now he's rolling again. Okay, to go specifically there. Like, that's his favorite spot now on the Citadel. Well, I'm gonna run in tight circles while you throw fireballs at me. That is the interaction we have. Then you take a peek. Oh, wow. So I did take too, too long. So I do need to hang around the TNT. All right, I knew that day was gonna come. Okay, so he doesn't just start his whole pattern, it looks like. The TNT responds basically immediately, so I can keep using it as long as I want. Alright, so there is a time pressure element to this. I blew up his foot, but he doesn't care about that, apparently. Alright. 
Now, the issue, though, is that, yeah, like, I have to start this. This isn't hard nor stressful, though. <laughs> like, you just gotta do that, and, uh, you get some crazy light effect. Head! Yeah! Blew up his face! He's going to get electrocuted! Electrocuted! Oh, jeez, I blew up his engine! Alright, time for the classic army boss now. Here we go. The Battle of the Titans, everyone has been expecting. Oh no, he gave up. Okay. <laughs> like, that's such a weird move! Oh, he still has that move, though. We still are gonna rock mad him. Here we go. Rocket! Wow, whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Well, I, like, I didn't jump. Yeah. There we go. Mastered. Uh-oh. He's jumping really high now. Yeah, he's rolling. Whoa, he's going over here. Okay, what are you doing? You prepared something new. You got a giant cannon. You got, like, bazooka's bazooka. Okay. Raining from above. Well, I don't want that in my hands anymore. Look, I picked it up not knowing any better. Oh, jeez, what is that? Okay, well, I missed that, probably. Alright, explode you! So, giant comical cartoon missiles. Oh, jeez, your shell! Oh no, that means I never got to fully, actually, accurately interact with your giant cartoon missile. I just ended up tanking it. Oh no! Oh! Well, you tried, little buddy. You tried your best. Now your door disappeared. You are put to rest. Wow, this took sub 10 minutes. There's tiny money up here, but honestly, I don't care. Like, there's money I've left all over the place. I don't particularly care. Uh, I guess I'm gonna give Flimsy the key and we're all gonna be disappointed because he's not gonna do anything. I'm making that assumption clearly on the fact that, once again, like last time I had two worlds open. When I got the first key, Clumsy just did not react. He just did not care. Like, the, just the endorphin he gets from getting these little keys unlocked. Just not doing the thing anymore. Now, you know, I, you can get used to a whole lot of things in life, and that's just, that's just what happens. We're still gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Uh, World 6 key spins. Well, he just waited in my right speaker. Oh, hey, he's doing a, a couple of dance. Wait a second. Wait a second, this is working. Well, something's gonna happen. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Hey, at least there was something. We got to see the mouth open up slightly. Like, it's... Look, I'll take this something, man. I'll take it. Like, it's better than... Whoa, that flash of lightning there when I entered the water spooked me out. Alright, Castle Kiln. We went there before once. We're gonna go there again. There's a slew of things that I need to return. Like, there's the tree where now I can do Donkey Kong's, like, sniping minigame. There's Larry's uh, Kislat that I saw, but I fell off a cliff when I fought. There's that, like, Red Door Catacomb place where, um... Uh, like, I did two activities, the one for DK and DD, but, like, everyone had an activity there. Like, there's a whole lot happening still. And I'm gonna go somewhere. Oh, yeah, this is where you have to sniper coconut. There we are. It's the wacky world of sit on a plank and then slip off the plank. Whoa, what's a target? With hands! And then a banana appears to tease you, to taunt you, to fill you with dread. Press the wrong button, I meant to press to the side instead. Alright, so now I can... There we go. Full auto aiming. Like, the distance is so large that I have no idea when I'm supposed... Okay, there we go. He disappeared. Ooh, and of course, the water levels are tied to these. Like, I would not have it any other way. Alright, so once again, just... Eh. 
And I'm just throwing all ammunition and they're all missing. <laughs> there we go. See, I had it exactly where he was and then he returned in pog form. All right, we gotta do this third time in case you didn't understand it. I am, you know, it's a very complicated thing happening here. All right, hold Z so that, well, it's Z tonight. All right. And that's gonna be too late. Yeah, like last time, like when he's there and leaving, that's when you shoot and then you hit at some point. There's not a whole lot of precision in my art here. Hey, well, the one was right there. He's still like, do we want to keep shooting? Shooting is fun. It is, but I can also do a backflip. Donkey Kong! He does backflips for fun. Now I'm here in the middle of this well. Good times at the good well. I guess I just gotta get down and leave. Alright, I don't know why there's crystals lining up the bottom. That's weird. I miss the ammo box. Donkey Kong! That's a gross, loud sound. Isn't there a swamp barrel up there? Yes. Like, might as well get chunky in on that tree action. So Matt made fun of the laughter and the soundtrack. Alright, so there's a tunnel here. Up to no good. Destroy this door with your mighty hand. Foot. Hey, green bananas. They're healthy. Alright, so what's going on here? Oh. Well. I see. You need to not get detected or something on the leaves. Or maybe you just snipe from here? Like, it's just like a weird, like, snipe check? I don't know. Alright, where's a uh, balloon gone? There was a uh, ballooning around. Like, where has it gone? For real, though. I mean it. I think, I mean, it only appears when you're on, on, on the brambles? I did it, though. I hit the switch, because, yeah, see, it's there. I guess here it's too far. Now it reappeared. That thing's just doing what it wants. Like, what if I zoom in more? Where did it go? What is up with that balloon? Alright, if I do this, yeah, I have... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that balloon. Like, it's weird. Yeah. Stop being weird, balloon. Well, okay, that's not true. Be as weird as you want. But... Alright. You know what? I did what matters here. Oh, boy. Time for a mini game. I'm gonna jump inside of this dark tree zone. I can't see much in it. Welcome to oh, boy. It's Beaver Bother. Alright, so I've been told that hard mode Beaver Bother is where we're at. So... You know, not expecting much for now. I gotta spook 15 of them. But there's only five of them that exist at a time. You gotta fall inside this hole, please. I'm going to run around in circle. And probably have to restart a few times. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Like, I know that going straight at them is not useful, because, like, that's just, you see, like, you gotta, like, trick them to fall like that, and it's, like, easier said than done. Like, I still got 10 to make fall here. Like, I'm not close. Like, that's kind of what you need to do, but you don't really have the time to, like, invest in individual beavers like that. So, uh, I don't know how you edit this. Like, multiple attempts of this. I don't know. <laughs> Try again. Think I did better than last time? I mean, again. See, you know, I get situations like these where I just, like, I can't really. I don't know. I don't know if there's really anything you can do when you get kind of stuck like that. At this point, I do not have enough physical time to be able to do it, so can I restart? I sure can. 
So people have beat this, huh? Like, normal people on normal video games. It's faster to restart that and letting it go to- You lost! Whoa. But it's not fast enough. getting any better. If they're stuck on a wall up there, like, I can't do anything to them. Yeah, I am just not improving. There is physically not enough gophers in the barrel. Nope. I just feel so bad in these situations where, like, they just won't fall, they're just kind of hanging out near the edge, good time, no, I'm just restarting. It's like, it's frustrating because you get close and then things don't work out. Like, they just kind of stop responding and you lose. And nothing was learned. Like, I just don't understand how you improve at this. Well, no drop in the, like, first 15 seconds, you just physically don't have the time. This is not very fun, like, I'm not mad. I'm just bored and aware that a lot of my limited human lifetime on Earth is being used on this. So, like, here's the thing. There is a way to make this fun. There is something fundamentally fun about, like, taking this chaos and trying to bring it to order. But not at this amount of life form at this limited amount of seconds. Like, it's just... As soon as you add, the, like, a sort of skill aspect to this, I feel like, at that level, it loses a lot of its charm. Like, I can see how when they were testing this, when they were making the code initially for this and all that, yeah, I bet the devs thought it was a lot of fun. And wow, by working on that for a month or so, then they got good enough that then they arbitrarily put down these numbers for it. But without that training of that you gain by developing this, like I feel like it's just too much too quick. And they take what has the potential of being pretty fun, if it was a lot more free form about it, into something that just kind of feels like an impossible chore. And when I'm going to win, eventually, I don't know when, but when it happens, like, am I going to feel like I honed the skill that I improved at? Or am I just going to be like, huh, I guess I was lucky this time. Like, I fear that the second one... Like, I'm, I'm sure I am gaining some kind of sheepdog herding skill here that's going to be very useful on the job market. But I don't think I'm going to appreciate it. Anyways, back to playing in silence. Uh, a good old loot. Look at that, like, I, I I did very good for a while, and then, and then I didn't. I don't have the time, and... and no, I'm too much left at this time. Welcome to bonus stage!
did it. Did it. So how do I feel about this game? Do I understand the game more than I did when I started it about 50 minutes ago? Yes. Do I understand it enough that I would be able to guarantee be able to beat it again in the next five tries? No. I don't think 10 more tries would be enough. I don't know if another hour would be enough. Okay. And I feel like okay. that's the problem. Okay. It's not a bad game, but I think it's asking too much. Like if it was something you countered every world and it got progressively to this point, maybe, but it doesn't, so it's not.